Hello friends, this is DMC um, and this is my quick review of Lidl's Bella Rom Modena Lungo Coffee Pods and if we take a look on the front of the box it says Modena Lungo this is a strength number 5 and it is a Rainforest Alliance certified coffee 30% 30, 30 of the coffee is certified coffee 10 capsules and compatible with Nespresso machines. Uh, we'll take a look on the side of the box. The best before date is the 24th of the 5th, 2019. So just under a year on the best before date on this one. Just repeating what is on the top of the box there. And there we go, just repeating again, Rainforest Alliance Certified. And there is the different sizes of drinks, Ristretto, Espresso, Lungo and Latte. And most of the information is actually on the bottom of the box. And it says roasted ground coffee in capsules, storage instructions, additional information suitable for vegetarians, Packaged in a protective atmosphere, produced in the Netherlands, and disposal, recyclable information there, carton is recyclable, capsules are not, and repeated in Greece and Cypriot there, and this is 58 grams. That's it for the box, so we'll open it up and take a look at the capsules inside. Uh, a little bit of information there, it's just repeated again from what's on the outside of the box. So, these are the pods, they're quite inflated. It says Modernet on the top there, and it's foil top and bottoms, which are do seem to be the way they're all going at the moment and they are a little bit better like that rather than having plastic bottoms um, so these seem to be better so I'll be trying these out over the next day or two and I'll come back with my more detailed thoughts so I've had a chance to try these out over the last um, couple of days and taste wise they are okay um, but nothing amazing they don't taste obviously cheap but they are very dull in flavour um, you get a sort of sweet beginning and then a and then a woody middle and then a very very strange bitter finish that starts off quite subtle and then the full blast of bitterness sort of hits you um, a minute after you've had a mouthful and then it sort of leaves you with that unpleasant dry mouth feeling afterwards. So I started off saying they are okay, but they aren't really. They are pretty bad compared to what I've been drinking recently. But they're not Sega Fredo, Zanetti bad. So if your you your ex if your expectations are pretty low and you don't mind what you drink. Give them a try. They're not bad for the price, really, but I would, I personally wouldn't buy them again. There's just, there's just no um, complexity of flavour, or it's it's just a really one-dimensional, dull sort of um, coffee that you're getting. Um, but as I say, they're really cheap, so um, they're not bad for the price, really. Um, I'm struggling actually to get coffees from um, Lidl. They seem to be very, very low on coffee stock at the moment. They only had these and the um, Ristretto pods where a couple of months ago they, they had they had quite a few of these um, coffee coffee pods, but they seem to be very, very low on stock at the moment. So I'm a bit um, a bit stuck for um, coffees to buy from Lidl at the moment. So as I say. Not the greatest coffee in the world, but not the worst either. So, as I say, 
if you're not fussy, give them a try. But if you're used to any sort of quality coffee, I'd give them a miss. So, I'd like to hear from anyone who's tried these pods or let me know um, about other coffees that are available in Lidl. As I say, they're very short on stock at the moment, so I don't seem to be able to. And it's a brand new, brand new, huge um, new superstore that I am visiting. And as I say, they're very, very low on stock. So, yeah, let me know about this coffee or any of the others on offer at Lidl. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more coffee reviews in the future, subscribe to my channel. That was my quick review. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.